Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to my tutorial on low poly modeling in 3D Studio Max. I'm using version 9 and you can be using any version. I'm not going to be covering anything that's too complicated. Um, you can see that these are characters for a game. I've been outfitting this character with different armor, weapons, helmets, and so on and so forth. This is sort of just a prop shop. Um, so you might be wondering why they're so low detailed. Why are these characters like they barely have any detail? You can see it's because you're looking at an extreme close-up. The actual size in the game is about that. It's very tiny. So at that render size you don't really need to be concerned about detail. These are the sort of low-poly characters that you might create for a mobile game or for something that's going to be viewed on a small screen or for something that's just going to be rendered at very small size, which is the case here. So to start with, I'm not going to get into UV mapping right away. Um, that'll be in another tutorial. UV mapping is basically like painting the character. Now, just straight up modeling is like creating these weapons or creating extra pieces to go onto the character, creating the character itself. It's like sculpting with clay. Um, now, in order to do that, we're just going to go over this Create panel, and this is the Modify panel. The rest of the stuff you really don't need to be concerned about until you move on to animation and other things. It occurred to me that you might want to see how this character will look in the end after it's rendered. So I'm going to show you a scale mill version of the character right over here, and I'm going to run through and show you all the animations I have for this character so far. You can see there's an eight-way walk, wait, eight-way movement for everything. Now this is going to go kind of fast, shooting a bow and arrow. Um, there's a one-handed attack, casting a spell. I'll slow down a little. Okay, speed up. <laughs> That's a death animation. There's a get hit. There's a run. That right there was the turnaround, basically just a still do 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 eight ways, and the walk cycle, and that's it. I'm doing that for all of the characters, all of the armor, all of the weapons. Um, they all have renders. So, to start with, I need to make a brigadine, which is another piece of armor for this guy, and we're gonna start with some reference. I have this little reference thing here. The Brigadine is... there we go. Um, this is a Brigadine. So, I can see here that in order to make this Brigadine I can paint the character, but there's a few pieces, like these arm pieces and these knee pieces that are kind of extra, that aren't gonna work with just painting it on. Um, so, let us start with making an arm piece. 